Hi everyone, it's Mr. Hutton here with the first screencast for uh, the SketchUp poly, uh, Pulley Project. Uh, today what we're going to learn to do is to use SketchUp to start drawing things very accurately. So the days of just um, messing around are gone. We are drawing things as accurately as we can. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to draw the pulley wheel. Now the pulley wheel is three bits, well three wheels together that are stuck together with a hole through the middle and the hole through the middle is where the bolt will go to hold it all in place and we have three pieces of wood and we're going to draw that in SketchUp. Now you need to use the, the web version of SketchUp so on my screen you can see SketchUp web so I'm going to click on that and then we're going to go through to the basic screen here we're going to start modeling and uh, all you need to do is sign up with an email. You can use your school, school email if you want to, or any other email, doesn't really matter. Um, but once you get modeling, you can um, you can start creating things. When it loads up, it's taking a bit of time. So I'm gonna open a new one, create a new one with millimeters. that's been slow and uh, we get the familiar woman that we, we can delete straight away uh, I'm going to zoom in as much as I can so I'm going to really zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in now today it's really important that we use the axes to help us so we've got uh, the axes here these are absolutely critical that we get them right okay now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our circle for the first pulley wheel so I'm going to find the circle tool here I'm going to click it on the middle, that's my origin, I've got to make sure it's in the middle and I'm going to pull out a circle. So I just pull out with my mouse and then what I can do is I can tap in the radius of the circle. Now this is going to be the hole in the middle. The radius of that is 5mm so I tap 5 and that gives me a 5mm radius 10mm diameter circle. Now. What we need to do, really important, is have some reference points. We need to make sure that we are aligning everything with the same reference point. And today we're going to use that blue vertical line. Now to help us create a reference point, we're just using the tape measure tool. Okay. Now the tape measure tool is brilliant for just measuring things and creating a reference point that we can use later on. Now, if we start creating the wheel, we're going to lose the reference point and we're not going to know how to link those three circles together. So we're going to create a series of reference points that we can always go back to. We don't need to use them, but we're just going to be proactive. The first one we're going to do is for the actual circle. So I'm going to drag out a circle. The first circle, the radius is 40, so I can tap in 40. And that's just given me a reference point. It is off the screen but it's given, there it is in the bottom corner, a reference point. That's more or less where our circle should be. So I'm, I'm planning out my what I'm doing. First of all, I'm going to go up. First of all, 10 millimeters. That's our first reference point. So the first circle is going to end here. The second one is 20, so I'm going to go up 20 and give us a second reference point. There it is, and then if we zoom out a little bit more, we can create a third one going up, and that's going to be at 30. Okay, there we go. So now we've got three reference points that we can use when we start drawing our model. Okay, so we've got three reference points going up on that blue central, central axis. Okay, now because we've drawn our little circle in the middle, once we draw a second circle, here we go. We're going to pull that out, we're going to draw that out on that red axis going out and the radius is 40 so I'll tap in 40 and it gives me the correct size circle and then we're going to pull it up. So we go to the pull and push, we're going to pull up that circle 10 millimeters. Now because we draw the circle in the middle it's already created a hole, we don't need to create a hole again, we've got it, we've got, we've got the hole in the middle, we're all good. So here we go, if I do the toggle, we can see here and we've got uh, basically a shape here with a hole in the middle. That's going to be our first pulley wheel. Now, because we've given ourselves a reference point, it's really easy to draw the next circle. 
So if I go to the next circle here, I'm going to be here, and I'm going to pull this out. Now, whoa, something weird's happening here. It wants me to draw a circle going the other way. Hang on a minute, that's not really what I wanted. Uh, whoa, d there's something not quite right there. So I'm going to control Z, and I'm going to find a way around this. Now, how can I do this? Whatever I do, it seems to want to uh, draw the circle the uh, the other, other direction. Now, the best way to do it, uh, and I only know this because I've been fiddling around with it for ages, is that if you go and zoom in as much as you can, so it's really clear, really simple, then the computer recognizes, oh yeah, of course, he wants to do it that way. He doesn't want to do it the other way, vertically 90 degrees, the other one. So so the, the middle one is 30, so we click in 30, and that's our central, central middle piece. And then if we zoom out, zoom a little bit, we can pull that one up. And again, that's going to be 10 millimeters bump. And um, now we've got our second piece of wood. So if we zoom in, you can see there, there we go. Two circles, both with a hole in the middle. Brilliant. Now, what we're going to do is to make it easier for you, we're going to not use the third one. We're going to use the top one reference point because it's a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that top reference point to first of all draw our hole. So the hole in the middle, we're going to draw a hole coming out and it is, I've done that wrong, sorry, Let's draw it again. It is 10, so it's going to be 10 mil. Boom, there we go. And then from that point there, we're going to draw another one and that's going to be 40. So 40, boom, there we go. Now, if we move around, we can see we've we've just got a. I think I've done the middle one wrong, haven't I? Oh dear. Let's go back. Sorry, guys. It. Uh, what is the centre that is not? Da, 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 da. Check my. So here, yeah, we're going out, and it's five, isn't it? Five. Yeah, that's right. And then this one here. Sorry about that. And then that one here is forty. That's forty. Bump like that. So now. We can get rid of the one in the middle because we don't need it. We're just going to make that into a hole. And then what we're going to do, just to make it a little bit more interesting, is we're going to pull this downwards. So we're going to pull that downwards. 10 mil. Boom. And now we should. Da, 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 da. Whee! We've got our three. Oops. Oh, Delete at the bottom. But anyway, there we go. We've got a three little wheels together so that's our first task now that's taken me seven minutes i suggest it's going to take you a little bit longer to get that right but however if we go backwards through the steps we'll see but we started off by drawing our circle that's our main circle and everything else we've measured it so we used the tape measure we went to that center point and we measured upwards giving ourselves different reference points. So you could go out saying, well, my reference point here, I'm going to make sure that's 40, so I know where the line's going to be. And then that point there, that's going to go up 10. So the blue axis tells you it's going straight up. It doesn't look right, uh, but it is. The blue means it's going straight up, so 10. So you can, sit, you can plan out what you're doing. Yeah. So when you start drawing your circles, you know that things should be, oops, in the right place. Done that wrong again. Things should be in the right place. And uh, I've done that wrong again. So anyway, you might need to look at what thing is, uh, something that's really important is the, um, the help guide here. So it looks like a teacher's hat on the, on the right hand side. It's called instructor. And if you start drawing with something, it will tell you how to do it. So it gives you a little bit of a help guide as you go. Um, and also the best control in the world is control Z. Control Z on my keyboard just takes me back and I can go back and back and back and back just using control Z, okay? So have a go and uh, once you've done it, you need to e export a picture. So export as a ping file, PNG, that gives you a, a, just a picture and that you can save that and upload it to Teams or, um, you know, you can, uh, you know, save it to your files or whatever. So first step is try and make a circle. Uh, the three circles go together. And as I say, it's going to be the pulley system. That's the first step. After that, we can start making the rest of it. So we can start putting the model together. So the bits on the outside, the spinning wheels inside, 
and it all comes together. Okay, so try that, see how you get on.